the fact that Amazon and Twitch stepped up so, so hard um, with the way the industry is and how things are going. And it was, it's been a very stressful last two, three months um, of my life because so many things have been so unsure. Um, but at the same time, it's been the most eye-opening and um, amazing two months of my life as well. Because like I said, man, with the way the industry is going, you guys have seen it, man. You know, people being pulled left, right, and center, bags being secured left, right, and center, people moving, people going. Um, you guys know me, man. I I've been here. I've been here for six plus years, man. And um, I love this website. I love the company. I love Amazon. I love Twitch. And the fact that Amazon and Twitch stepped up and offered a life-changing opportunity for me while nothing having to change was amazing. Um, and and just 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 awe inspiring in general for me and um i'm so grateful i'm so grateful uh for this platform i'm so grateful for this community i'm so grateful for you guys um i'm so grateful uh for the love i have of this platform and the loyalty that i've shown this platform has now been reciprocated by amazon and twitch and yeah it's um it's amazing dudes we're we're locked up until 2022 uh, with Amazon and Twitch, we're not going anywhere. Uh, we're staying right here. One of the big things as well that just blew me away and warmed my heart so much, man, um, with these negotiations with Amazon and Twitch is one of my stipulations was I want to do bigger and better for charity. Um, and our six year, uh, charity stream, um, thanks to Twitch as well is going to be even bigger than what we've done in the past years, man. It, like one of the big, big um, uh, uh, signing points for me was I, I wanted backing and support so we could do even more for charity. So that's another big, big, big love to Twitch and Amazon because they're, they're, they're stepping up to the plate for that too. So um, absolutely incredible. Now that's a long ways away, but hey, we're gonna be here for a very long time. So we're, we're not in a rush. What's up, buddies? Welcome to the second episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory, technically on Super Sunday, even though you guys are getting this very late on Sunday in the Americas and relatively early, as always, on Monday um, in Europe and the UK. Again, I think you guys would have seen the intro, probably got clipped up a little bit to make it less long and whatever, but for the second time, I love you guys. I'm so excited to continue what I'm doing on Twitch specifically, which then of course means I can keep doing even more on YouTube. So the big announcement with Twitch also does mean that YouTube can progress and get bigger and better as well as the year progresses. When time gets a little bit more available for me, instead of having to grind the road to glory, the YouTube channel will start seeing some proper improvements and changes as we go along as well. So without further ado, let's get into the episode today. We've got a lot to get through. Last episode, if you guys missed it, we opened 120 25 up to 125 um really super sunday sbc so 81 plus uh league upgrade packs 81 plus la liga upgrade packs 81 plus premier league upgrade packs um uh you know the three player league earn packs team of the week packs uh flash sbc packs i think we had six or seven flash sbc packs saved up so it's a very very busy episode our team now looks like this we did get someone to add into the dream team which was exciting slightly clickbait so go check that if you want to see who that ended up being um although really the lack of chem style kind of gives that away um if you look at the squad hard enough uh today it's going to be all about us closing out uh weekend league this weekend's gameplay is so terrible that I'm only going to play to gold three, if that. Right now, we're eight wins, zero losses. So it's Sunday, and we're undefeated, which undoubtedly means I'm going to go into my first game of the day and get smashed. But we're eight and oh. We got to try and get six wins over the course of today, over the course of the next four, five, six hours. Shouldn't be too hard as long as I can keep my composure, especially with this squad. So we will be doing that. As well as the day progresses, we'll be looking um, at doing all of the SBCs that EA released, the Flash SBCs. In case you guys did miss the... Uh, double upload or the upload that you know we recently uploaded i did go over the 6 p.m content as well 
and had a lot of thoughts about it. Uh, undoubtedly, I'm sure people in the comment section are going to be annoyed with me criticizing the stuff that EA do. But I repeat, I'm going to double down. I, I am not impressed with how dead they've made this promo in terms of the like player SBCs. They could have made this so fun, man. Like actual flash player SBCs every couple of hours, I think would have made, would have crushed this promo. I don't just think doing flash SBCs uh, via player SBCs alongside the flash SBCs, like these things that they're releasing right now, where, where wherever it is, where's the, the, the Black Friday, the, the latest one, like these every hour if they were doing this and then a player as well on the hour oh is it that hard ea that you need to come up with every hour every two hours a new moments real player or a flashback player no there's thousands of players in this game they could have done it and they could have done it so easily dude and i think it would have taken this promo from being what most people think is relatively dead a relatively cash grab uh, a lot of people are disagreeing with me liking these things i love grinding these things but a lot of you guys that know what you're talking about i'm not going to hate on you for it are saying this is just there to rinse people's clubs because futness is coming up ea wants people to just have either nothing in their club or just be stuck with a bunch of untradeable stuff um, because Futmus is coming up and that's yet another time where it's a very good opportunity for EA to make a good amount of money on all the promos and the things they'll be doing throughout Christmas. And then very quickly after that as well is going to be team of the year. So you guys aren't wrong in saying that I was just compliment, not, I don't know if complimenting EA would be the fair assessment here, but I was just saying, I like this. I can't hate on EA for this because I really enjoy this grind next episode, not this episode, because this is weekend league. Uh, Flash SBC, that type of content. We've got a tradable team of the week pack and whatnot. Next episode is going to be another grind session of these packs. So it'll be, as I've said a thousand times, and I apologize for constantly repeating myself, but it'll be like 20, 30, 40, or 50 of these three player league packs, and then 10, 15, 20 of these 81 plus packs. I'm going to do everything I can to try and get Neymar or Mbappe untradable. And I will stick that challenge to it, okay? If at any point, this week, while we do these packs, if I hit, uh, I guess, when when do these packs, when do these go out of packs? So we will realistically only have Tuesday. So next episode, if we do manage to hit a Neymar or an Mbappe, yes, they'll both be their regular cards. I don't care. I love them. I will do a $1,000 giveaway. I will stick to that, okay? We'll, we'll keep that challenge going um, because I want them that bad. So next epi will be massive for packs. Today's going to be a nice mix of gameplay. Um, and flash SBCs and team of the week packs. And really, we're going to start chipping away more and more at uh, icon crafting as well. So we got a lot to get into. And actually, I just clicked out of the uh, SBC. You know what? Might as well. We'll go right back into the SBC and do that in a second. I did want to show you guys this, okay? Again, I'm so proud of this team. I'm so proud of this team. I'm so proud of everything we did. In terms of liquidity right now, we are sitting on, I think Vandersar is about 350, but let's just say for the sake of rounding, I'm gonna round up or down for, for math because I'm terrible at math. Um, 350 liquid there, uh, let's say 800. So that's what, 1.15, right? 1.15 liquid, um, uh, 1.75 liquid. Uh, he's like 600K, man. So what's that? 2.45 liquid. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, 2.85 liquid, let's say. I think he's 400K. Um, you know, 3.85, 4 million liquid, 5 million, 6 million liquid right now um, in this team, man. And, and then not to mention, I repeat, next week, there has to be a point where I have to rinse through my club. So I could rinse through the club on Tuesday as well. As you guys know, for the massive amount of packs that we've opened, we've been storing all consumables. And at this point, we got to have well over three to four, maybe even 500,000 coins in, in consumables in the club. So maybe for next Tuesday, while I'm crafting the 81 plus packs, again, I'll do a little bit of trading. We'll be doing any, any type of bronze pack methoding and stuff like that as well. But maybe while I'm rinsing... Um, the club and then inevitably I will have to rinse my coins to, to get those uh, 81 plus league uh, and specifically as well the three player league uh, packs we will also sell consumables so if I can sit there and and be in and around the 600 or even 700k range while also having all the packs ready for next episode that would be very good so that's going to be a challenge to myself even on my day off tomorrow is to have in and around the same coin balance maybe a little bit more as well because you know it really depends on how bored i get while grinding those packs but that's going uh to be the challenge going forward now in terms of this squad we did change one thing one thing we noticed because i've been telling you guys for a little while now that i've been having some troubles with messi 
um, and that he just misses a lot. So what we did, I mean, the setup is still the same. I'm not changing it. I don't care if I get counterattacked endlessly. I don't care if I rage at these guys that sit back and run down the wings and take advantage of me having, you know, however many players in their box and in their own end and all of that stuff. Um, I don't care. I'm staying all out attack. I'm sticking to it. I love playing this style of football. It feels good winning like this. It sucks losing like this, but it feels so good winning playing attacking. I don't know how disgusting people must feel playing on one depth drop back counterattack because when you win, you must feel disgusting. Okay, cool. You win, but then it's not the greatest feeling. And then even worse, when you lose, you must just feel like an absolute schmuck as well. So to me, playing that gross anti-football, I don't think there's an advantage in it. Other than getting some wins, I really don't see the advantage. At least with ultra-attacking football, you can feel good about winning or losing because you're trying to play proper football. Having said that, the change to this setup now, and it came from that last game which we got 8-0 with uh, when I was struggling and that guy scored a couple of cheesy goals. We switched to a 3-5-2 and then instead of having Messi as my cam and Neymar as my striker, I switched them up and I went this route. I went Messi at right striker and Neymar at cam and things seemed to flow quite a bit better. And again, I love Messi, but I really love Mbappe and Neymar this year. Like really, really do. So I don't know if it's moving Neymar and his five-star five-star into cam that is making me love this change or if it is genuinely messy now having maybe more of an attacking role at right striker that i'm enjoying but for the rest of the games for us trying to lock up uh gold three this is going to be the setup uh and then hopefully if i don't rage too much and get toxic uh i will talk you guys through if i think this feels a little bit better for enjoying messy a little bit more otherwise man maybe as of next week onwards we consider uh offloading leo which I can't believe I'm going to say, and maybe just start chipping away at some different players to fit into this team. So keep the same core of the squad, but start trying different strikers to partner with Mbappe or different cams to partner Mbappe and Neymar up top, right? I don't know. Can't believe I'm saying that, but maybe. If I can't get the best out of Messi, um, we might end up doing that, which is unbelievably blasphemous, I know. But um, that is going to be... The plans going forward so carrying on with the quote unquote intro we do have a trade pile of items listed up for sale this is mainly just from grinding the packs and getting these guys duped uh as dupes another thing that we might end up doing today is it it does it, it looks like initially today it actually looked like 83 player values were starting to plummet and now it looks like they're starting to recover again so what i'm thinking of doing here too is because not only did we go unassigned on three or four hundred players right which made us a lot of money not as much money as i wanted it to but it still made us a lot of money i also not only when i bought those players i stored the the, the non-dupes into the club so i think high low value there you go that gets rid of the untradables right and really all i want to look at is golds so <sighs> i don't know and you guys can maybe give me your thoughts on this but I was thinking of cashing out. Um, I, I, I genuinely, I mean, I know these guys. These guys are tradable. These guys are from the 100 and whatever, 50 or 100 and whatever tradable SBC packs we opened on Friday. So we got a few informs and decided to just store them in the club. Um, but I'm thinking of like selling Berwin, right? Even if I can get 20K out of him, it's 20K, right? No, these guys haven't gone up in price really or done anything yet. So it is what it is. Um, same thing with Forsberg. Same thing with these guys. These guys haven't really gone up that much. Yeah, they're all tradable, all old club stocks. But at this point, I think I'm just going to hold on to them um, for the time being, unless they really see a nice rise in price, which I don't think. So all of this stuff I'm going to hold on to. Dumfries now, we lost our shirt on, but who cares? He's going to be my right back for the Dutch squad. So now we'll just keep him, even though he won't get an upgrade anymore because PSV bottled it um all of that stuff is there in case i need coins emergency coins now moving forward though do we cash out the other things do i cash out for example the ter Stegen that i bought right i'm now i now have andersar in the team so do we just get rid of him and have those liquid coins or do we sit on him that's the first question um and then we go into the pack pulled but also mainly club stocked um 84s and downwards do i sell all of this should I, these are all purchased as well, right? For the 1500 to 1700 coins in, in that range. Um, you know, do, do we cash out on these guys now that they're up to 3k or, or do I hold? 
I, I that I don't know. Like l this is yet another what three? It's wait thirty. I almost said three hundred k. We're looking at if if this is thirty k a page, we're looking at another hundred plus k sitting here in the team, right? That's tradable. Not to mention the stuff that we have untradable. But look at that. Look at that. We have at least 100, 150 Ks worth of tradable items. Not talking about Terstegen and the expensive stuff. We might have two, 300 K of players up to this point that are sellable. Do I sell? Or do you guys think we should just hold this for the icon craft? That's the debate. I, I, I And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll discuss that a little bit more with the Twitch stream like today. And then by the end of the day, maybe you guys will see a trade pile of me cashing all this stuff out. Um... Bronzes are selling pretty well for me right now. Okay, so nice segue. Let's go look at what the actual requirements are for this Flash SBC. We're actually 15 minutes into the Flash SBC, so I've spent a little bit too much time yammering on, as I always do, or flapping my gums, I guess, as we said. Um, what did I say? Isn't it, didn't I say that as we packed Team of the Year Kante? I don't know why that's a familiar term. Anyway, so it's a Prime Gold player pack, and of course, I can't click it. It literally is not letting me click it, so I have to log out and log back in. Value can't go down anymore. Might as well keep. Well, but but if they're 3K, that's 1,000 to 1,500 coins profit per card, right? If they were 2,000 coins, um, that's a nice dynamic image on Bailey, though, I do have to say. If they were 2,000 coins or like 1,900 coins, like one or 200 coins more than I paid or three or 400 coins, more than I paid, um, then I'd obviously uh, be a little bit less inclined to sell. But we're that's still good profit, man. That's you know 10, 12,000 coins per per ten or per page. So that's a good chunk of money. I don't know. I'm almost convincing myself to just cash out all that stuff again, all the club stock crap and all the random 83s and 84s we got from all of our pack openings over the last couple of days. I'm feeling like we should, man. I really am because. I don't know. I feel like after this Black Friday thing, like come Tuesday, I can't imagine when. When are these? When do these go away? The team of the week packs in three days. So sorry. Like come Thursday, we can just club stock again. These eighty threes come Thursday. Eighty threes because of rewards day as well will like just tank in price, and we can go club stock all over again. Sell them off for the three k, and then go pick them up for the fourteen hundred, thirteen hundred, twelve hundred, whatever. Right. Um, I don't know. I think, I think that's kind of, I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, prime gold player pack. Let's get into this. See what we got. What prices are we looking at? Gold players, eight. Rare players, eight. Chemistry, 90. Oh, this is so cheese. Player from one club, max, uh, one. So this is like a one league run if you want the 90 chem. Um... Now, of course, we are not looking good. <laughs> we have cleared out the whole club. The entirety of our club has been cleared out, really. Um, so do we have any uh, untradeable Prem players that I'd be willing to get rid of here? Because we did... I don't think we've cleared them all out, right? Got a lot of these guys from the, uh, the 81 plus packs that we just opened. So we can use maybe Decore... Milialelo, Lelo, Lojevic, this guy. I'm fine to get... As long as they're not 83 rated, I'm fine to get rid of all of this, man. I don't really care. It's all untradeable anyhow. Um, I guess that's it, though. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's untradeable. And then tradable... What do we have? Like, a couple? Maybe a couple more players? Yeah, we got the 83. So, see, we've got some tradable 82s. Got a tradable. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. I just... Oh. I clicked start by accident, which, like, resets everything. This. Let's do this. So, remember, what was it? Kovacic? That's still the... Uh, rid of him. Get rid of him. Oh, we got lot. We got lots, dude. Just kidding. We don't have lots. Um, slide this in there. Slide this in there. Slide this in there. Slide this in there. Okay. So, this and that, and this and that, is that players from one club max one. So, that's still all good. Uh, I already have, unfortunate. well, you know what? We could do this, this, and that, right? Let's get that uh, Bournemouth player in there and maybe 
Sorry, not Bournemouth player. Anyways, you know what I meant, dude. Um, get Bernard here, right? We get the untradables. So we get Decoure. We get this. Batch. Uh, Man United player. We can go with the CB then. Right? We can do that. That's a hell of a lot of the untradables. And in fact, oh no, then that means a Chelsea player would have to go. Um, let's leave it. Let's leave it at the as that. So that's what set. That's seven golds. I don't necessarily need to do this either, though, because I would like to keep these. Again, I know I'm being really annoying here, and I apologize, but I want you guys to see where my brain is at. Right? What I'm thinking is we do need two more golds, but they can be non-rares. They can be non-rares. What were the other non-rares that were in this league that we had? We had a few, right? I'd rather keep the rares for 81 plus uh, league impacts. So there we go. We got a left back. Can definitely use him. Can't use Tosin because we've got, uh, what's his name in the team? We can do that. And that might have been it, actually. Uh... Were they both? Hmm. So maybe we do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, 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 I know. I know. Do this. Do this. This. Max players from one club. this sorry why was i taking him out there we go okay so now we still need one more uh one more gold so ake as much as i don't want to use him we can right and then from here we need how many more we got that's six rares. so we need two more rares so the best part from this is i wonder like english English golds, uh, sorry, English bronzes. Do you think they would have, have gone up in price? Because from here, we could just use, well, realistically, I guess I can use him too if I wanted. Hold on. Let me, um, let me get an idea. Do I got any rares there? No. Got any rares here? No, I'm pretty confident we did get rid of a lot of these rares. Um, I'm not getting rid of the Liverpool rare, that's for sure. Okay, so let's do let's do that. Let's do get the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Right, we still good. Still good, and I just need one more rare. How's that looking? Is that good? Chemistry ninety. Oh my god, we are so close. Okay. Think it through, think it through, think it through. What am I missing? What am I missing? Am I missing anything blatantly obvious here? What am I missing that's obvious, dudes? Do I have a Man United player in here? I don't have a Man United player in here, so I could go... I could go Juan Mata. Or... We could just do that and be done with it. Let's just do that and be done with it, man. Yeah, I know. It's another um it's another rare, but whatevs. Whatevs. We can even do this. There we go. Now now we're now we're balling. Okay. There. So I don't know if I'm gonna go through the club just for YouTube as well, because you guys I think are left in the dark because I do this all mainly on on Twitch, like on stream. I, I don't know if, if there is going to be a value in getting rid of the rare uh, players, like rare bronzes, but it could be get Ake out. Well, at this point, we don't really need to do that. So that's fine. So um, leading into the rest of this, uh, we've got three packs to open as well. So we're going to do three packs and then we're going to get gameplay and then deal with the other Flash SBCs as they, as they come and go. So let's get these open and that'll be the tail end of all the, the quote unquote fun stuff. And we get into the, the nitty gritty. So we've got a prime electrum, then a prime gold. And I have items to deal with. 
What? Oh yeah, that duplicate that we got from the um from getting rid of the tradable pack. Okay. Prime icon, come come. Can we get good pack luck off of just three packs right now than we did off of 125 earlier? So far, no. So far, no. Spanish center backs are really expensive. Like, well, if they're gold, I don't have any. Well, now I do. Now I got five golds, but... Oh, that is cash. Yep, that's cash. That's like 3, 4K. Beautiful. Uh, rare, I'm going to put up there because we'll use him in the crafting of 81 plus league impacts. I don't think those guys have a value at all. Yeah, any rare duplicates now, I'm keeping. Because of how much grind I know I'm going to do for next episode. I'm going to try and be efficient and keep any rares. Just sold a rare bronze for uh, 2.6k. Walk out! From the flash! Oh, it's dead. I mean, it's coins, which is great. Get rid of untradables for Nisco. Not the worst thing that could happen. I wish I had a audio cue of Nep when he got, uh, he thought it was a good card and ended up being a terrible pack and he went, fuck! The best thing I've ever heard, man. That, that Nep swear is so funny and probably got this video demonetized unless Swedish caught it. But, um, so good. I wish I had that audio cue. It's the best thing ever, man. Oh my God. Anyways, okay. So again, this goes tradable. Do we sell? Do we sell the tradable stuff, man? I feel like we do, right? He's got to go. He's got to go, man. He's 17K. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. I'm going to cash out. I will only craft this uh, base icon pack if we do it from untradables, okay? And if we get that done by Wednesday next week, then cool. We'll do. We'll have another base icon pack for uh, Wednesday next week. So here we go. Three more rares we'll put on the trade pile. That's the way we're going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell all the tradable stuff and only use untradable stuff that is how we're going to um run now tradable team of the week pack please please be a mane be a mane be a son please oh oh my god dude that's tough three team of the week packs opened not a single even 84 walkout Yikes. I'm tempted to discard all this, dudes. I am tempted to discard all this and just take the 10k again. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And actually, before we cut the uh, the recording, I am honestly sick of sitting on this stuff, man. I'm just taking the money. I'm, I'm actually kind of pissed at my pack luck right now, and I'm going to take it out on uh, my club. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, dudes. I'm doing it. 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 So what are we saying? Like 80 rated cards. Um, like here and below, 80, like 79 rated informs are gonna just be useless, right? Yeah, they're straight discard, man. Straight discard. So there's 9k. There's 9k. Uh there's not I mean, I should just use this guy for the uh, Napoli squad. There's 9k. There's 9k. Now these guys, all three of them I packed from 400 coin bronze packs. I'm not going to get rid of these guys because, um, well, for a multitude of reasons, but just because they're, I think they're, they discard for 5k, first of all. Second of all, I it might make sense to keep them for silver objectives. And not to mention, this guy's like 10,000 coins. Wow, 10,000 coins? Nah, you're gone, dude. Never mind. <laughs> see ya buddy i think this guy was packed a little while ago junker what a great name he might not be 10k because he's still in packs right but still 8k from bronze packs yes please don't mind if i do and then pellegrino is an old uh 400 coin bronze pack pull but still only about 9k yikes amundo Okay, so that's all gone. Now, for now, I'm a little bit of a batch. I don't think I'm going to sell these guys because, like, let me have a look at one of these 82s. Like, we've been sitting on these guys forever, right? Discard bot, right? Still discard. So, 
this guy it doesn't hurt if i really really needed the coins um i i could get rid of are the 80 have the 80 do the 83s have any price at all even then 83s are about discard too right are they are these about uh close enough to discard what are we saying or is this guy actually 15k i wonder if i sell these have these gone up to 15k why would these do you, really the team of the week tradable pack has brought these up by a few thousand you know what i've got room in the trade pile if i can get 14k out of this guy i'm happy man that's like 3,000 coins profit i'll take it that's a win um this guy was a pack pull right no we bought him for discard too an 83 inform for discard is crazy to me if i can get 14 for you buddy you are gone see you later um now smalling bought for discard an 83 rated smalling for discard again if we can get 14 for him great we'll list him up a few times if he doesn't sell we'll go right back in the club no harm no foul i wonder if that chill well right a left back 82 yeah you know what let's do uh 18 for barella might be underpriced inter balling right now right irl juve have been getting lucky all year i got to admit and finally uk um uh juve slipping up and uh inter have taken have taken the reins i'm gonna see for 13750 if i can get this sale why not pulisic again what do we buy pulisic for close to discard is pulisic actually 16 17k also fantastic give me that you know almost 5k profit there uh and then mina all bought for discard ah i don't think i'll sell this guy but we'll try we'll try okay so that kind of um lets you guys see where we stand and i think what i'm going to do here as well i'll update you guys in a little bit uh youtube this is where we're going to end things i'm going to list up all of this stuff all of this purchased um stuff all of the all of the golds we're just going to fill up the trade pile and uh and 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 ball out that way maybe leave like 20 slots open just in case that the next flash spc is really good for bronzes or something like that okay first game of the day buds here we go okay sweaty bail can either be the greatest thing you're ever going to face or the worst player ever with that three star week but it just depends on what um uh what type of luck your opponent is rolling with Your all black can only make so many saves, my bro. Your players can only phase through so many of my tackles, buddy. Hmm? Look at, look at, look at, look at the freeze framing in the replays. That's proof that there's major button delay and lag compensation going on. The replay is freeze framing. Okay, I don't know why Jared's not making that pass. Unreal bad video game, unreal. Let's go, baby. Quit, quit, quit. He wanted to pause and quit as well. Let's go, boys. Let's go! What a deserved win! We're 9-0 and right now, dudes! Against the sweatiest, most terrible gameplay I've ever experienced in my life. I feel like I say that every weekend. It's, I mean, it's that's another impressive thing that EA seemed to do with these servers is we're Sunday evening at this point. I I've waited so long to play these games, and yet the gameplay is more horrendous than I've ever seen before, man. Absolute disaster. But deserved. This guy had two shots on target, two goals, man disgusting this one was tough man i did give up that open space here a little bit like look can can anyone tell me where militao and virgil van dyke both ran off to look at that they both just ran away from the ball there dude but meanwhile my opponent's players this guy's defenders who to be fair he also had a very good defense so i'm not hating on his squad 
But the difference in his screen PK and regular Militao, they were being AI controlled like gods. Like absolute psychomaniacs. Like they were both 99 rated, man. Interceptions, AI tackles galore. But meanwhile, my Van Dyke, man, and my Militao just running away. Just running away from everything. Oh, great. Fantastic. Anyways, we got the win, so there's no near, new, no need to really be toxic. Um, we did get the win, and a perfect segue as well. I think we did get a brand new Flash SBC. So we'll go have a look at that. We're up to 784k too. So to show you guys, uh, we are cashing out. So that's profit, dudes. That was bought for 10k discard. That was bought for 10k discard. That was from the bronze pack method. That is about 5k profit. That was packed today, I think. Uh, that's about 1500 coins profit. That's about 1500 or 2000 coins profit. I think, I think that's pack pulled. That's pack pulled. That's pack pulled, uh, from Friday. Uh, that's, we're looking at about 1500 coins profit on all of these. That one's only a thousand coins profit. So here we are, man, back up to almost 800,000 coins on the account. And we still have, um, him to sell all of these to sell, uh, and still all of this to sell. So I would be shocked if we didn't get ourselves close to a million coins, um, which is amazing. And again, that's a million coins, dudes. Again, before we've even started selling the three, four, whatever, 500,000 coins in consumables. So I'm loving it, man. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely am absolutely um, loving it. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm so proud of the, of, of the grind, man. Gameplay um can be as horrifying as paul and there you go here's another you know you guys said 17k is what he was going for right with a shadow so yeah we'll easily be at a million coins before we even start selling off our consumables so next episode i really hope not only do we have a really awesome pack opening to try and get neymar or mbappe but i really do hope we'll have like a solid 1 million maybe not 1.5 million coins that would be a nice goal to be at for next episode um and that's just selling club garbage um, but you got to understand that I will have to spend a couple hundred thousand coins minimum to stock up on those 81 plus league, uh, and the, uh, three player league packs too. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, it really, it really all depends on how much that grind takes up, but we're looking really good right now, man. And I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I mean, I love my squad. My squad clutched up there, man, against all odds. I'm getting wins. I just, I can't believe I, I gone are the days where I feel like, Oh, I, I don't think I've finished a game in all of last weekend's league games that we played where we went elite, went 23 and three this week, we're nine and oh, at no point in the last two weeks, have I finished a game yet and been like, oh my God, I can't believe the cheese that went my way for me to get a win. It's all been like heartbreaking, like a billion opportunities, but not able to score opponents, goalkeepers making wonder saves and then them running down the field, phasing through two or three of my tackles and then scoring a dumb goal. That it's just been like that for like the last two or three um weeks i don't know what's going on anyways it doesn't matter we're not even nine and oh no need for me to get riled up what i do like is they're doing these flash sbcs every hour this is cash this is cash this is cash dudes we gotta sell we gotta sell we gotta sell um so i'm gonna try and do this with untradables again youtube i'm gonna leave you leave you and love you here um what we're gonna do is i'm gonna well i mean if i can complete this quickly Rare players, five. Players from the same league, max five. Nationalities, minimum of two. So what is going to happen? People are going to go for main nations, silvers specifically, and even high-rated bronzes. So I would say what I'm going to concentrate on selling is high-rated bronze rares and all silver rares um, from the same league, max five. Yeah, from main nations first. So we'll, we'll go down the main nations you know right backs left backs center backs center mids strikers and center forwards and goalkeepers don't seem to sell too much so i'm going to concentrate on the center backs the center the the midfielders and the uh the 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 left mids left backs right backs that's what we're going to do so before we do that though let's get to work on um same league max five so let's get to work on untradeable this is where the silver upgrade method comes up big boys there we go beautiful all right so We'll keep that all live and then we'll run this pack. I'm going to go through. So again, YouTube as an explanation, I am going to go through my whole club and rinse everything. So you know how I said we'd probably be at based off of just what we have in the trade pile and our consumables up to 1.5 mil. I, I think that's out the window. I mean, I think we should be making quite a bit more than that as long as I'm not too greedy with the player listings. So 
Let's go. Prime mixed player pack. Come on. We get something good out of the pack as well. That'd be even better. I like these SBCs, man. People love to hate on this type of stuff, but I really do like them, man. All of us grinders out there, these are the things that make us so many coins. So, so many coins. Okay, so we're restocking. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a Bundesliga. CSL, I'm not doing. So this guy has a value. You know what? Give me that 300 coins. We're not doing CSL right now. Um, Bundesliga, we are. We're going to get back on the grind for the Bundesliga. No other silver players really needed. Let's see. See? Oh, dudes. I wonder, like, what what should be the price? What should I list these guys up for? No, no, no. Okay, we got to be a bit more aggressive. Maybe 700. I'm going to do my bronzes. I'm going to do for 700. So, like, Bundesliga 2, Bundesliga 3. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, dudes. All right, let's get to work. Now, I'm probably going to get crushed here. I've never been 10-0 ever this year. In fact, I don't think I've ever been 10-0 in FIFA, in champs, ever. We didn't even do 10 and 0 on the rich man. We've only ever gotten even on all 3 weeks we went elite at the start of the year on the rich man account, we only ever got to 9 and 1. So this is a marquee marquee game here. If we can win this, which again, considering how much I'm struggling this weekend um with gameplay, might not be likely, but this would be pretty sick to be able to go 10 and 0, man. All right, let's roll. GG boys, for the first time ever, 10 and 0. For the first time ever, I think ever, on the poor man road to glory, we are 10 and 0. They never let up, did they? They kept on going to make this a very We are 10 and 0. Going one nothing down after battering this guy for 30, 40, 50 minutes, man. Scores his first shot on target, but you know what, man? We kept it composed, boys. We kept it composed, man. Seven saves. And that all came from the first 20 or 30 minutes for this guy's Hugo Lloris, man. I'm really proud of myself, dude. Usually this type of player that sits back, scores a ridiculous goal, and then acts like a weirdo, that usually drives me crazy, man. But, like, now, I, like, turn into rage mode, but in I keep it internal, and I do my best to try and get back in the game to shove it down these guys' throats. So again, I know you guys might think I was being toxic there, but I was toxic because this guy was being toxic. Number one. Number two, I feel like when we beat people like this, we, as the guys that like to play football and not play psychotically toxic FIFA, it's a win for the good guys, you know? I feel like beating someone like this is a, is a check mark on the win column for the good dudes. And I feel like sometimes you got to give that FIFA karma to the sweat lords, man. It's a good feeling. We all win getting a win out of that. Because that guy got battered, you know? He got that one nothing lead after like 30 or 40 minutes thinking, oh, my sweaty style of play is going to reward me again. And yet we just kept foot on the gas pedal, man, the whole time. Again, if we lose going forward here, it's fine. I am proud that all we do is ultra attack 4-1-2-1-2, switch to the 3-5-2 because it wasn't 4-1-2-1-2 wasn't really working, switch to 3-5-2 with even more gas on the pedal. We went to like seven or eight depth. We went to seven or five width. We went to seven or eight depth in defense. We took off even more uh, defensive players, brought on more offensive players, and it worked, man. I really hope at the very least this inspires, uh, let's go, a lot of you guys to just keep playing your brand of FIFA, man. Even when you come up against the Sweats, unfortunately, we're coming up to the tail end of uh, of this last Flash SBC, and we kind of missed the boat, dudes. We sold, like, maybe 10 players total from the last SBC. Um, 
which is a little unfortunate but hey it uh it is what it is and yeah these guys aren't gonna sell two minutes away from the sbc expiring um we'll probably have to throw these guys all back into um uh the club but what i'm gonna do here while we're one minute away perfect segue again we're rolling today man perfect segue into uh the next flash sbc that end of that game that little bit of uh that little bit of info for you guys and then us just listing these guys up while we wait for the flash sbc to drop for some reason i thought diego costa was uh was like a high value player unfortunately he is not so we'll just take our thousand coins profit on the rest of these guys and run um that has to be a red card for PK. Oh, that Barca game, right? How are we looking on that Barca game too? Are we still looking at a potentially informed Ter Stegen? Or no? What 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 even is the scoreline even? Even even even. All right. Let's go, boys. What do we got here? We got some other sales. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, you reduce the price by a thousand coins and they all insta sell. How mad is that? Um, all right. So, are we doing a silver run again, bros? Is it a resident sleeper uh rare gold pack? That's okay though. I don't mind. Let's run it. Rare gold pack. Hey, dude, you can get something crazy from any pack, bros. As always. The only thing that matters is what goes up in price. So cams, left mids, right mids, left backs, right backs. Nationalities, minimum of four. Players from the same nation, max six. Max six. Huh. Rare players four. Again, silvers, dude. I'm I'm starting to run out. Of, I'm I'm honestly starting to run out of ideas. What so what should we what should we be cashing out on again, bros? What do you guys think? Is it main nations in off leagues or off nations in main leagues? Uh, while we do this, I'm going to set up. Uh, let's see what do we got here. Oh, perfect. Done. Never mind. There we go. So that's all untradeable. I think, well, actually, no, I think this guy is actually tradable, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you check again? There we go. Yeah. So one tradable player to get a rare gold pack. Again, a little bit resident sleeper, but I still think what I'm going to go look at listing um, is players that are, we're going to do silvers first and we'll list up players that are uh, off nations in a main nation league. So you know, Bundesliga 2, off nations. Uh, Sweden, non-Swiss, right? Uh, or Sweden, non-Swiss. <laughs> Sweden, non-Swedish, dude. Oh, God. All right, great. Well, because of that idiocy, now we didn't pack a walkout. That's fine, dudes. That's my brain's fault. All right, restocking the club. That's a discard. That's a discard. We'll sell this stuff next week. Sell that next week. Stock that. There we go. Yeah, the Flash SPCs is a surprising uh, way to also stock up your consumables, either to sell or to just use, I guess, if you don't want to be efficient. And uh, before we love you and leave you here, in terms of the YouTube clips, right? Let's finish this up. So we got another one done. That's great. How much XP? 400 XP. That's cool. Um, what else do we got here, bros? Oh, nice. Oh, premium gold player pack. Let's open that one, too. Nice, ooh. Okay. 10 win. I mean, hey, 10 and 0. Let's go, boys. I can't, I actually can't believe we're 10 and 0, man. And another pack. Yo, two more packs. Now, these are untradeable, but we've been pretty good with clearing out our untradeables, right? In fact, our club is pretty barren. I would be in shock if there was a single player, like a duplicate untradeable here. We've got maybe like 10 or 30 untradeable league on players and maybe, um, Two premium gold players packs. That's what's up. Yeah, and maybe another like 10, 20, 30 La Liga untradeables. Come on. Come on. Oh, we can't get it, boys. We can make infinite coins. We can ball out in weekend league at some uh, at some extreme. This is good though. That'll all go into the league. Uh, um That's unbelievable. Okay, so that one's good. That is actually crazy. So out of the very few untradables, we did get exactly that. Another duplicate untradable. Okay. Number two. Come on, man. Season's objectives got us a Ramos. Can we get an Mbappe or a Neymar? Come on. Nope. Damn, dude. Unlucky. 
Unlucky, man. Wow, that... No way, bro. Oh, God. Okay, well, now, now we're in business, dudes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's any chance of going 11-0 here. Unknown squad. Nice team, though. Very, very nice team. That Ricardo Kaká is going to shred me to pieces, isn't he? Are we seriously going to go 11 and 0? Really? Just the change of Leo Messi and Neymar in 4-1-2-1-2 at least. Woohoo! Oh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm just like lost for words right now, man. I think I, the, the next best thing is our trade pile could be selling off stuff. Look at that. 17 more items sold as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yo. There's 3k profit in each of those. That's the pack pull, but still 9k, 10k profit. A couple thousand coins profit there. And then this is all just money in the bank. Oh, this is all just money in the bank, dude. I love it. I love it. This has been crazy, man. This has really been the uh, the craziest couple of days for me, um, without a doubt. Obviously, the big Twitch announcement, locking up a big deal with Amazon and Twitch and this and this team playing like this and the amount of money we may or we're making on this account it's just wow i'm actually so happy it's crazy man i honestly want to crack that's weird like my relaxation and excitement time is cracking a whiskey that's it. i just want to pour myself a whiskey right now i think when, when we get to 14 wins dudes to celebrate i am gonna pour myself a whiskey my mom's gonna she's gonna come over tonight for dinner she's be like you already smell like alcohol I'm like ma you don't know Okay, it's a rare Electrum player pack. This is a good pack. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Wait, what? Rare Electrum pack. Do I have to log out and log all the way back in for it? Please tell me it's silvers and bronzes again. Please, let it be bronzes. Please. Is it bronzes? Is it bronzes? Oh, it's two hours now? Yeah, so we're at that time of day now um, where it's every two hours, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a nice A. It's a nice loading screen, man. Doesn't represent much in terms of uh, fun stuff for people that like player SBCs. That's for sure. Pretty dead in terms of play. No, it's 78 rated overall. Okay. So, not much. Oh, so two hours of not making any money off of SBCs. That's tough. Poor us, you know? We've only made like two or three million coins uh, off of bronzes and silvers and, and trading this weekend. So, um, but... Let me see if I can piece this together with some of the garbage we have in the club. So it's player from the same league, max six. Players from the same nation, max three. So it's just off leagues. Like it's one nation off leagues type of thing. Uh, sorry, one league and a bunch of different nations, ideally. Rare players for 78 rating. Okay, so again, let's go have a gander at the Premier League. I'm so mad, dudes. It doesn't even make a dent, and I'm still mad. All right, rare election pack. Well, I better get a Neymar, a Messi in form, a Ronaldo in form, or an Mbappe in form, because I just spent 4,000 coins on this SBC for the first time this entire weekend. So this is definitely going to mean we get something spicy here. Come on. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Please. We've been such good boys, EA. You know what? Screw EA. Pack gods. Pack gods. Oh, God. Pack gods are who we're talking with. And absolutely nothing. <sighs> That's so sad. But the good news is we got a Bundesliga Silver. We got a Lecce player. We got a La Liga duplicate, which is really disappointing. You know this guy's going to be worth something really nice once the actual SBC comes out. See if we can get a thousand for him. And... We got a couple more rare golds that we'll use to get uh, 81 plus uh, La Liga packs. So the, ni the nice thing about this is we're actually restocking the club. Because all I need per 81 plus uh, league uh, pack, I need five rares. We probably stocked, what, another 20, 30, maybe 40 rare golds into the club for next epi? 
So that's going to actually unbelievably make it quite a bit cheaper um, having to do those 80, uh, 81 plus packs. So that's great. That is fantastic. And okay, we'll have to relist a few more items. And we'll get right back on the grind of gameplay, dudes. There's no way we go 12 and 0. I look at a team like this with the players in it, and I know people that play this game a lot look at this and think, oh, yikes. Nick's going to be in for hell. That is like the sweatiest thing I've seen all day. All right, it's fine. Don't let ourselves get mad. We're having a great time. We're going to summon our inner Keanu Reeves, okay? Keanu Reeves could be told he has to go to, like, the desert and walk across the desert with, like, rocks on his back for five weeks. And he'd be like, all right, let's do it. So I'm going to be that guy, okay? Okay, I'm fine to admit after that halftime talk with you guys that that's the first game that I don't deserve to win. Just as I said, as we were loading into the game, this guy's team, uh, this guy just, I knew based off of my ELO, I'm on almost the highest difficulty right now possible in weekend league. When you see someone rolling with a squad like this, you know, they're either really good or really sweaty. And to be fair to this guy, even at halftime, I was saying this was a fun game of FIFA. This was just me and him attacking each other. Just... Back and forth, 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 back and forth. So, um, I think even if I lost that game, I would have been pretty happy. Like, that was fun, man. Vandersar bailed me out, dude. I'm not going to lie. Um, big time bailed me out. His PK, look at how silly this, look at how silly this was, okay? Watch this. 180 degree snap, spin fire shot with a three star weak foot lol we'll ignore the fact the ball went through his foot as well anyways that's all good um this was a big save man right here usually i concede that and also i will admit i fouled him here i went in for the tackle after he shot that should be a penalty as well um and then i missed a very easy chance with steven gerrard here i got lucky to get the ball back but right here that pass how does Gerard not even hit the target, man? Right here? Beautiful first time pass, first time touch into a shot. Laces as well. He doesn't even hit the target. Just goes into nowhere. Anyway, so we got lucky, man. Um, very fortunate to be 12 and 0 right now. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, surely, 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 surely we can't go 13 and 0, right? Surely we can't go 13 and 0. Maradona, that's another 4 2 3 1. All right. Well, let's try. We can only try. Hey, don't shush me, dude. This guy's a sick FIFA player, man. I'm getting really lucky, dudes. I'm getting really lucky, bros. I can't even pretend like I'm not getting lucky there, man. Kylian Mbappe is the GOAT. I don't give a... I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, if I had to choose one attacker in this entire club right now, Mbappe stays. Ibra goes. Pretend I didn't say that's Latin. Messi goes. Neymar would make a good fight as well to, to stay in the club too. But holy God, bro. GG though. GG though, man. Wow. We are officially one game away from me owing you guys $500, dude. That bet, if I go 14 and 0, I'll give you guys 500 bucks. Yikes. One win away. One win away. Can we do it is the question though. Can we do it, dudes? <laughs> okay. Dudes. I love you guys. 
I'm so sorry to let you down. We're 13 and 0. It would be a $500 giveaway if I go 14 and 0. Um Yikes. I don't, <laughs> I might <laughs> I'll try. I'll do my very best, okay? That's all I can do. I mean, I deserved the loss there. I got beat by a better FIFA player, so it's all right. Sorry, guys. I let you guys down, man. Let you guys down? Couldn't go 14-0? But I got beat by the better FIFA player, so it's all right. That wasn't had nothing to do with his team, nothing to do with his players. The guy was just better at the game than I was. Um, it's all good. I did everything I could, man. Went ultra-attacking, 3-5-2, which actually allowed me to concede more goals. Uh, you know, this guy in his 4-2-3-1 little... Um, tight setup. Six shots on target, four goals. Eight shots on target for me, two goals. Can't really, can't really, can't really do much better than that in terms of uh, what I what I put out there. It is what it is, bros. Oh well, would have been nice to go fourteen and zero. I've never, I've never gone fourteen and zero ever. All right, let's see if we can try and get this. Cheers to my life. Cheers to your life. See if we can try and clutch up uh, one final win, and then we can really, really well and truly enjoy our weekend, bros. Beautiful. That's not. I'm not even gonna get there. Whoa! Zambrata just exploded his own leg. Of course. So he'll get another opportunity. Here we go. Good tackle again. Let's go! Dude, it felt like that was an elite one game, man. Oh my god, dude! How outrageous! Holy! Look at that. You see that little skill right there with Nene? Dude, that is what deserved that initial goal, man. That's what I was telling you guys when we scored initially, bro. Look at this chance. Disgusting game, man. Absolutely disgusting that I had to go to the 120th minute against this guy. But watch this skill, man. This, I was so proud of this, bro. Watch this. Doink, doink. See ya. And he literally murders Neymar. Breaks Neymar's neck. And of course, somehow the AI goes into the middle of nowhere. Does that even hit him? That's so stupid, dude. This game is just awful. Of course. And, yeah. I think, I'm, I honestly, I think Mbappe was offside from there. His two goals, I don't even remember what they were. I got a beautiful, I, I would love to see um, the lead up to the pen. Because, again, it was Mbappe fake shotting past Ter Stegen. And Ter Stegen took him out. Really, really satisfying um, penalty to earn there, too. And then the game winner, of course, was Killian. The ledge. Tried to play the ball in there to Ebro. Get fouled in the box again. I repeat, how often do you have to get fouled in the box here? Nah, to be fair, you know what? He got the ball. He actually did get the ball, didn't he? 
Oof, you know what? That's actually unlucky on his part. Considering all the cheese this guy got all game, I think I deserve that, man. And ironically, look at Ter Stegen. Look at Ter Stegen. Insane. Insane that he got into the way of that and made a um, got a piece of it. But yeah, this guy's Ter Stegen all game long was outrageous, man. Outrageous. Save after save after save after save after save after save after save. I thought I did very well to keep my composure, man. Game was making me uh, almost semi-psychotic. This chance too, man. I feel like I should do better there, man. I need to take one more touch with uh, with Mbappe. But you know what? Our second best finish uh, of the year in terms of getting to gold three. Last week we went 14 and one. Then we went 23 and three. This week we went 14 and one. And unfortunately, it's so late at night. Um, and I am a whiskey or so in already that eh, I don't know if I'm going to continue, dude. So what we'll do to end off the uh, the episode and the day here is I'm going to show you guys where we're at. We're up to 929k. We kind of got some items sold. Um, I got to work through the trade pile and get some listings going because we have a SBC, I believe, that is a, what is it? It's uh, Is it bronzes like as a requirement, I think? I think it's bronzes as a requirement. Premium mixed player pack too is not a bad pack. So what we'll do, um, there you go. Nationalities for players from the same nation, max two. Oh my God. So the off nations from every league for bronzes are going to be worth a fortune. Now, you guys won't see this for YouTube. It's too late in the day, but just know that we'll probably be, we're probably sitting on a couple hundred thousand coins again of like, you know, French left backs in the, in England three, you know, um, uh, Spanish right backs in Italy two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So God bless you guys, man. I'll get this done. We'll have this pack ready to go next week uh, or next episode in terms of what you guys are to expect. What is it? FIFA rage and funny moments. Number four is up next. And then we'll be back with another episode of the poor man road to glory with a whole bunch of league 81 plus packs and three player upgrade packs. Thank you guys for another amazing week of support, both on the YouTube channel and on Twitch. Again, I'm so honored to be able to do what I do for a living. And now to have the backing of Amazon and Twitch is just absolutely incredible. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for having my back through these last six years and into the net into these next two or three years. As always, I'm relatively hammered off of one glass of whiskey. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.